Um, yes, you, you are correct, and um, uh, a lot of times that's football. Sometimes it takes something in a game to uh, either a goal in a game, and I think if we maybe score earlier, then perhaps it, it opens up a bit more for us. But uh, I think we a first half performance. I think we, we showed a bit of nervousness in, um, in I think, our, our play. We, this was the start of the campaign, a big game for us. Obviously a wonderful home crowd. And, uh, and I think we were a little bit nervous in our, in our play. And um, it's almost, sometimes you have to get through that period. Um, sometimes you ride your luck, sometimes you need your goalkeeper to make some, some saves and for the game to change. Um, but certainly when the game did change, or for what moment the game changed, um, we were very, very good in that period. And the, the, probably the biggest, the two disappointments are the first half performance, which, which needed to be better, but the second half performance I thought was, was excellent, with the only disappointment was that we didn't score the goals that, um, that I think the performance warranted. Right. Um. Okay, so um, the importance of this win is, is massive. Um, we, we would have liked to have done it more comfortably in the first half performance, but that's football. And sometimes it's, you, you also have to give credit to a team that defended very well in the second half and a goalkeeper that made three or four outstanding um, saves. So all you look, all you look for this is to, to one, get some momentum from this because uh, for, for anybody thinks that, that, that commerce will be an easy game, for sure not. The, the pitch we will play on would be a difficult pitch that they're used to playing on. But this, um, I think particularly when you score, in the manner we did, the last moment, it, it gives you, I think, just that little bit more. So um, what, what we're all hopeful for is, is, is the momentum from this game and from your second half, taking that into, into two commerce, will, uh, will um, see us in good stead. Thank you. I wouldn't would say Majid. I wouldn't say you know, Majid is the successor. What Majid is is a is a different type player. You know, Thomas is a more of a technical player, more um, a creative player on the ball. Majid is more of a runner. But um, right at this moment, even coming into this squad, Majid has been out for 12, 13 weeks. He's been out injured. He's played in. I think two and two, all together, I think he's played in about one and a half games, friendly games, second team games. So that was always the question, bringing him into the squad. We knew that, um, that he was lacking match practice. Um, but he's a player that I thought he was very good um, when he came on Angola away in a, in a game that I, I thought had some good chances at the end and potentially we could have won. So we know about his abilities. Um, if I'm looking in that, that midfield area, it's we have good players. We have a lot of similar type players, I have to say, but they're, but they're good players. And we're always, always in any position on the lookout for any player that's a little bit different that would give us something in, in a particular area in the squad. Um, no, no, I, I wouldn't agree. What, um, I don't know if Inaki would fully understand. Inaki is a number nine. Inaki is a striker that, <coughs> at this particular moment, that his club is playing in a different position. He's playing on the right. What Inaki is is a, is an incredibly good professional, and I'm sure if I asked him to play in central midfield or right back, he would do it. He's a good professional, but Inaki is a number nine. This is this is this is his this is his strength. Um, but I think more importantly for him, he wants to play for the team. It, it, it has always been our responsibility to provide him with good service. And the goal that he scored today was an exceptional cross from um, Gideon Mensa um, and Inyaki in the right place. And I'm uh, always confident in him is if we provide good enough chances for him, he will, sc he will always score goals. I understand the question, and um, uh, I'll give you 
the best answer that I can. Um, what I wanted from from our two, what you regard as defensive uh, midfield players, was not. This is technical talk. It's not to play in one line. It's for Salih, in particular, Samit, to play to play higher. The the difficulty always is is that you spoke about Majid in the second half um, performance. Um, what I did say and explain to you is Majid's been out for almost almost 13 weeks. So what I did see is that um, in him is is that uh, coming into the squad that uh, I could see him more as an impact player than a player to start. Simply because simply because. He's been out for such a long time, and we didn't know. You don't know at, at what level he's at. Although he's been training, he's been out from an injury. This is a player that's a high energy player. So what we wanted to do was was the two sixes we had to play them different. And it wasn't a question of them playing square against each other. We always wanted them on different angles. And then, of course, you rely you rely on the technical ability of, of players, and it wasn't just them. I thought in in a first half period, um, I thought we lacked at times good control of, of the football. I think we didn't move this ball um, quick enough, and we didn't get the ball into sometimes into good enough areas. So, you are right about the the two sixes, but. My intention was to play them in a little bit of a different way, knowing knowing that uh, Majid is somebody that could, could come on, as other players can, and, and make an impact. Right. Um, nice yes, it's... Um, okay, sorry. I've been told his last game was in 2021. Yeah, I, it, it's... Um, uh, what, what is always very difficult what is always very, very difficult is to explain to you the process that goes behind picking a player. Because there are so many things that come into it. Uh, experience, playing, somebody playing well, somebody playing, the relationship they had, the timing. And, and sometimes, I can tell you with, um, with a goalkeeper, sometimes it's just a feel. Sometimes it's just a, a, a feel that it's the right time or a right game to play somebody. So I can't give you specific details on why um, I chose him to play today. Um, all I know is that we, we have three good, very good goalkeepers. Three very good goalkeepers. And, and as with other areas of the team, these are, are never um, easy decisions, never. Um, but it's a feel that you have, and I say you can't be more technical than that because it's me that has the feel and me that has the relationship with them. Last one for Well, the, the, well, the area that I'm satisfied with, I'm satisfied that we qualified for AFCON, um, top of the group, this I'm satisfied with, and I'm satisfied that in our first uh, World Cup game today, we won the game, irrespective of the first half performance, but I thought the second half performance was, was very good. Um, the, 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 the judgment is, is always different from whoever you speak to. Um, I have to work with a group of players. We've had a lot of changes. We have a lot of young players that, that have come into the, the squad. And it's my, um, my responsibility to try and get them, them right balances. Um, at this moment, we, we haven't lost a competitive game. The, so for, for anybody, and um, I, I, I always think sometimes it's a disrespect to some teams when, when you, um, you know, some people think that we should win games very, very easy. You know, my, my, um, my experiences have seen um, a lot of African football, and not, not just teams we're playing against, but other African nations are, the levels have got very high. You know, and, and very competitive, and you know, there aren't them easy games like they, they were. But I think we're we're in a place I think to make progress. We as I said, we have some young players that are still developing. I would love to win games far more com uh, more comfortable. It would make life uh, it would make life and far more or far less stressful for sure. 
Um, but we are, I think we are building something, you say, and trying to get the, the right combinations in a team. There's still some areas of the team that we, we will try to strengthen if we can. And um, it's trying to get the, the balance between the, the experienced players and a crop of good young players coming through. Uh, first of all, uh, sorry, but my English is not good. But uh, I'm very happy. Uh, the team to everything to to win the game. Uh, it's no easy job, but uh, I enjoy the game. I enjoy the atmosphere. Kumasi people is uh, very special, and I'm so so happy. Uh, uh, when I come here, every, everybody told to me. Thank you, uh, welcome, Aquaba, and uh, I'm very, very happy, you know, because uh, my grandpa said me, uh, you kind of people need you, and I came here to, to do everything. Uh, this, this performance is so, so beautiful for me because my family is, the, is in, the, in the stadium and it's dedicated for, for him. It's not, it's not easy for me because uh, when I come here, I, I'm professional, no? and I do everything. I'm training here. Uh, it's not easy, but uh, the pitch uh, is not easy for me, for the teammate, because I play in Europe. In Europe, the pitch is, is very good, but this is not an excuse for me. I am professional. I, I, I like to, to come here to help my my teammate to help to everything, and I'm so happy. Appointed, were you discouraged after that win? Yes, I, I'm frustrated, you know, uh, because uh, I'm going to celebrate all the people, but uh, it doesn't matter because I, I'm working hard to, to, to make a goal, and God bless me, and in the last minute when the, the game finished, I scored the goal and the three points is for, for Ghana. I'm so, so happy. Right, so uh, hey, I prefer to, to play uh, in every every position, you know, because <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like to play in every minute. Uh, I, I play uh, in my team with uh, Winger and, and now in Ghana I play with Winger. Uh, I enjoy the game. I'm, I come here to help my, my, my people, my, my teammates, and when I play, I'm, I'm happy, and when I score goal, I'm very, very happy. As a uh, uh, this game is for the preparation to, to AFCON. AFCON is coming. Uh, every, every, every team, every people uh, have uh, illusion uh, to, to Ghana put on the top, and uh, I think uh, Ghana is going to be uh, a good performance, a good, a good job, and, and maybe uh, we can uh, uh, win the, the outcome. Right. Thank you.